Welcome back, Statesman football fans. I'm Katie Smith, joined by Herb Brooks. Today, let's get a handle on the running backs and linebackers. Well, first, we're going to start with the running backs, and we'll hear from Coach Ward on how they're doing. Been going well, you know. We got a lot out of the last two scrimmages, you know, saw what I need to see, and my guys have been performing, been performing very well. I'm very pleased with their performances so far. Had a senior, Bryce McBride, go down with a knee injury. Don't know how much longer he's going to be out. Um, Justin McArthur, who prefer, performed really well in the first scrimmage, he went out with shoulder injury. He's going to be out for another couple of weeks or so. And gave, it opened up some opportunities for freshman DeJuan Belair to come in. He showed out a little bit yesterday in the scrimmage. Tim Foy, it, I mean, he's just all around better back that I have. He can pass protect. He can run the ball. And he's just all around ball player. I got Richard Freeline. He's going to pound it in between the tackles. He's also very strong, very good pass protector. Uh, DeJuan Belair, he's got that different speed than everybody else. and It's a good change of pace whenever we put him in there. And that's a good thing about having that is like you can put uh, Tim or Richard in there and they can just pound it and pound it and pound it. Then you stick DeJuan in there and it's a different speed that the defense has not seen. I'm expecting great things as a whole, you know. Uh, can't rely too much on one guy because that's what you'll get injuries and fatigue. So that's that's a good thing with the group that I have is I'm able to spread their touches around and spread their reps so that way you don't lean too much on one guy. Also changes up, like I said, changes up the speed that the defense gets used to seeing. I mean, they got to be prepared. They know that, you know, it's 50-50 going in. If we, if we can run the ball against the defense, we're going to run it. If we can pass it against the defense, they're going to pass it. And they're not selfish guys, and they understand that. If they go in and we win a ball game and they don't hardly get any touches, it's okay with them. Just as long as Delta State wins football games. Well, we've got some pretty experienced linebackers this year. They're going to be fun to watch. Absolutely, Katie. But first, we're going to hear from Coach Gothy on who those 2013 Statesman linebackers are. Camp has been going well 2013. We're excited and, um, you know, guys have been coming out giving effort. Like I said, you know, we have good days, bad days, but we really challenge them on coming back and responding the next day. We can't have two bad days in a row, so they've really been responding well. They have been progressing well. Coach Anthony being a great defensive coordinator that he is, he's taught me a lot. And, um, you know, we can't go out there and fix four or five things at one time. We have to focus in, okay, what we really need to work on today and get that better. And the guys have been really responding well. I mean, we have a couple things we can go out and get fixed, and we fix them, then, you know, it's on to the next thing. Out of the two scrimmages, first scrimmage, I mean, effort was a, was, a, was a factor. I mean, I don't think the effort was quite there as a linebacker unit, as a core, but uh, as a group. But um, we got better the second scrimmage. I mean, a lot more guys flying around, and um, that's what we got to do to be a great defense. We really got to fly around and get to the ball. Uh, the first group, man, they're doing, a, they're doing a lot of stuff really well. I mean, like I said, effort, that's the big thing. As long as we got effort, we uh, we got a chance. And, I mean, you know, Roy Island, he's really stepped up from the spring. I mean, uh, Xavier Triplett done some good things yesterday. They have been helping them out really well as far as the leadership role because, I mean, you know, they step in and, you know, when stuff needs to get fixed, I mean, they go ahead and I hear them coaching up guys on the side as far as, nah, this is what coach talking about. So that's that's huge to have that leadership that's in the group. And um, Martavis Morgan done some good things, and they, even in the, the, the second group because, I mean, I mean, you know, between the ones and the twos, I mean, it really shouldn't be any different. So that's what we challenge the guys on. So you got Ryan Self in that group, the Coven Ware, and um, Caleb Smith. So, you know, they're, they're really stepping up, and, you know, we got to get some other guys ready too because with injuries, it's football, so we got to keep them ready to go. Just get better each and every day. I mean, let's come out, let's go, come out, get ready to go to work, and do the little things. Because as linebackers, you got to be able to rush the pass, you got to be able to read keys, distinguish between pass and run, and then you also got to be able to drop and play pass. So we got to work on those three things in order to be great linebacker court. What do I expect out of them? The balls to the wall. That's it. Hustle, hustle each and every play. So those statesman linebackers definitely going to give the players on the other side of the ball some trouble this year. We'll see you on September the 7th, Katie. I'm Herb Brooks along with Katie Smith. We'll see you later.